Merry Christmas, Merry everyone. Christmas. Um, several years ago, Amber and I got together and did a holiday video uh, to send out greetings and blessings and to encouragement to our, our family and friends and loved ones. And, uh, you know, we kind of got caught up in the business of life. And I don't think for the past couple of years, we didn't do it. Yeah. But uh, Our bad. we want to do it again this year. And uh, uh, what, a, what a better time than to... To, to, to connect with people and let them know that we love you and that God is good in spite of all that's been going on. We know it has been a really difficult year. Um, it has been for us as well. We've had our own personal tragedies um, happen this year, um, but we know that there's so many people out there who've had such a rough time with finances and health and just relationships and a lot of stuff that is going on and so we just wanted to encourage you um, because through it all God has still been amazing and we are so grateful and blessed for each new day that we have and waking up in the morning with breath in our lungs and a new day to just live in our purpose and why we're here and just um we wanted to share our love and encouragement to all of you. Amen. And and we know someone's watching this video and you may say to yourself, you know what? Um, I understand the uh, the history of the tradition that we call Christmas. And you may even say to yourself, you know, Jesus wasn't even born on December 25th. You may be uh, familiar with a lot of the rituals and and that are in the background that are connected to the holiday that we call Christian Christmas. But, but, but let me say this to you. You may re recall when the apostle Paul was in, in prison and he said, you know what? He wrote to the Philippians and he said, uh, you know, there are some that are preaching gospel, the gospel out of spite. Really, they are preaching gospel in order they might increase my bonds and increase my chains. But he said, I rejoice all the more because for whatever their reason is and whatever their motive is, Christ is being preached. Christ is being preached. And, you know, when you think about all that's happened throughout this year, our God gets the last word. Mm -hmm. He gets the last word, whether it be in a pandemic, whether it be fires, whether it be uh, losses, whether it be uh, homelessness, or whether it be job loss and unemployment, whatever the case may be, our God will always get the last word. And so whatever's going on right now, at the end of this tragic year, a year full of tragic tragedy and a year full of challenge, Jesus gets the last word. Absolutely. And so what a better way to cap the year off than to remind the world that, you know what, the solution to all of our problems is the Lord Jesus Christ. And so not only was he born, we want to see him born in our hearts and in our lives on a daily basis. That is what we need to get through all of our struggles and all of our trials. And so we want to encourage you. We love you. We're praying for you. Uh, let Jesus be born in your life today. Amen. 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 We wish you a very merry. blessed and merry Christmas and a happy new year. I think we're all looking forward to a new year in 2021. So we send all the love to you and your family today and every day. Bye-bye.